Now, it's a great honour for us to be talking about Fox News. This is the future of news. In fact, Fox News has more viewers than every other news channel in America put together. And no wonder. I mean, when other news channels cover, say, the American presidential race, they talk about trivialities like taxes, foreign policy, the environment, that sort of thing. But only Fox tackles the biggest issue of all. She needs better accessories. I think she needs a great bag, great shoes. Shoes always work for everybody. She could be dressed in a dress designed very much like the way Meryl Streep looked in The Devil Wears Prada. Um, I think she's a lovely figure, and I would really like to see her show her legs more. Take that, Hillary. But it's not just Hillary. Fox has assembled the finest mathematicians to crunch the numbers on who's America's favourite Democrat. Just look at that. I had no idea that 150% of Americans plan to vote in the next election. Yes, it's amazing. And those figures, of course, <laughs> brought to you by Fox's Statistics Bureau. <laughs> Another great thing about Fox is it appeals to people of all ages. For instance, check out their program for young bloggers. And you can tell it's for young bloggers because of the totally uncontrived manner in which the hosts open the show. The web revolution is here. Yes, it's the most natural way you could appear on television, really. The only problem with that youth program is that Fox's youngest, funkiest presenter is some 48-year-old IT nerd. Hey, guys, for me, I had a reality check on the campaign trail. I was trying to get my head around how the candidates are working the web. He was out there tapping mogul money and speaking to the people. And so were we. We're out here covering Obama. No! But now it's our pleasure to introduce the king of Fox News, its star presenter, Bill O'Reilly. Every night, a whole army of guests appears on the O'Reilly Factor, and they talk to Bill about every topic under the sun. And the whole show is driven by Bill's central philosophy. Look, anybody has a problem with the Factor, they're invited on here to tell me what their problem is, and they'll be treated respectfully. Yes, Bill treats them respectfully, like this. Not he Bill doesn't have a right to he be didn't commit here. a felony. He, he doesn't, doesn't have, have a right to be in this country. What? But that has nothing to do with the yes, fact that he does. was a drunk. He should have been he deported. Was a drunk. What if, he you, should have been deported. He, and this mayor and a police chief didn't deport him. You want that poor anarchy? Mayor. You want nothing to do no. with that mayor? You want anarchy? No. What you I want, want open border anarchy. What, what, I, what I want is fairness. We have lured these people. We have. Now, that was fairly loud. In fact, Bill O'Reilly's getting so loud, they're thinking of replacing him with a host who can be more quiet and soothing. <laughs> of course, sometimes having the loudest voice in the world isn't enough to overpower your guests. That's when Bill resorts to Plan B. That's what I spent 29 Sorry. years of my no, life no, trying didn't. to do. You know what happened to, to you? Conventions somewhere are along very, the line. Very important. All right. Somewhere well, along the Bill, line. I served 29 you years. How many did you serve? To Where did you like teach your own the Geneva Cut Conventions? Cut her mic off. To... Goodbye. All right. That, I'm glad she came on. I wanted you to see her. Bill isn't just respectful to his guests. He's also respectful to sexually abused children. Now, do you remember the case of Sean Hornbeck? He was an 11-year-old kid who was kidnapped and abused by this man for four years before he finally escaped. Now, most people would think a sexually abused child would be deserving of sympathy. But our Bill, he had his own theory. The situation here for this kid looks to me to be a lot more fun than what he had under his old parents. He didn't have to go to school. Run around, do whatever he wanted, and I think when it all comes down, what's going to happen is there was an element here that this kid liked about his circumstance. Yeah, you, see, you know, Bill knows what kids want. In fact, he's even opened up his own holiday camp. Hey, kids, want to have the time of your life? Then come to Camp O'Reilly. As Bill himself says, No school, play all day long. Our friendly staff are more fun than your old parents. Stay for four years and go away with a lifetime of psychological harm. Why would you ever want to leave? 